So let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Linda. Hi, Melanie. Can you hear me? Hi, Ingrid. Does everybody hear me? Ah, great. Hi, Shirley. Oh, that's great. Good to see you guys. Hey, Peter, we missed you. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, Emily. Hi, guys. Ah, oh, that's so, <laughs> so good to see you guys. All right, I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I guess we'll start with our colors, as I usually do. Let's see. I just got to move stuff around so I can see. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so I'm using uh, Napathal Red, and I muted all these colors with uh, the green that you see there. Um, and that's just something I mix myself. Uh, this is orange, uh, Azo Orange. That's that. And then that's the yellow that I put some of the green in. Uh, Azo Yellow Medium. And then we have turquoise blue, I'm muted as well. And I have uh, a whole bunch of junk <laughs> next to me. I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I have like scrapers, I have my palette knife, I have, you know, my brushes and everything. You'll see what I, I drag out when I start using it. All right, so I'm just gonna start with charcoal today. Um, I'm kind of uh, sluggish because I had my COVID vac vaccine today and uh, I, it's, it hit me a bit, I think. So, hi Tana, nice to have you here. All right, so we're just going to start with the charcoal and just make some random marks as usual. And I'm just doing as I please. No plans. Oh, so do I, Linda. I'll probably be all right. It's just, uh, they said it could uh, hit me like for a couple of days. I'm not like really bad. It's just that I just feel tired and you know, not myself, I guess. All right, and I'm gonna come in with the gesso. Cause me and charcoal and gesso, oh, is anything gonna come out of this thing? All right, there we go. And I'll just use a thin brush. Ah, you're getting your second one, Emily. You're lucky. I wish I was done with it. So I'm just like working the edges with the charcoal so that I don't like ruin it, ruin it. And then when I when my brush gets dried, like from after I use the use most of the gesso, 
Then I'll like go in over the charcoal a bit more because then it won't like disappear totally. I had uh, the Pfizer, I, B Biontech, Pfizer Biontech, is that what is it called? Yeah, I think that's what it was called. So, we'll see. All right, and how about uh, using this? I found, found this on the, I cleaned my studio today, guys. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and I found this on the floor. It's a Creta uh, color. And it's just a regular graphite stick. So we could come in with some of that too, I guess. Just to mix it up a bit. Yeah. And I'll come in with a thin charcoal stick as well. It's just so I can mix it up a bit. I think this has too much paint on it. It's not making marks. There you go. All right, we'll try there. I don't know, maybe we'll use some, let's see if I can find some colors that I want. The dry pastels, I'll put a bit of that down too. Just cause I want to. My brain, uh, I think my brain just works like automatically at this point because I've been doing it so long. But I think I can remember like when I started out that I tried to like uh, concentrate a little bit. I mean, I, I let my marks be like all free, but I still try to like, you know, not put things all over the place and try to like find some kind of balance with my marks. Hi, Mika, hi. Hi, Angela. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just stop then, huh? <laughs> uh, nah, we gotta finish it. So my brain, uh, at this point, I don't think, Emily, but um, I don't, I haven't, I haven't thought about a focal point, but I guess you could. I mean, there's no rules. There's just you and your paintings, right? You don't have to, how do I put it? You don't have to plan anything or think anything, actually. I mean, like most of the time when I work, I'll work like really intuitively. And then at some point when I see that something's looking good, I'll just stop and I'll try and do something that makes sense, I guess. All right, um, I forgot black and white. I just have to run over here and get that. I think uh, the most important thing is to just uh, try and be free and just practice your marks and that's it and as I said just keep going don't uh, I don't know don't make like a, a big thing out of it and it usually turns out just fine it's just that 
we tend to be so critical of ourselves that even when things do look nice, we're like, nah, it doesn't look good. When it actually does. So, and I think that's a problem for a lot of us. Yeah, well then, then Emily, that's what you have to work on then. If you uh, go crazy when you free yourself, then you go crazy for a while and then you stop. And even if things do get busy, I mean, you can still calm them down and push them back. So, it's no big deal. And I think that's uh, the problem with a lot of us is that, oh, we do something wrong and then we think it's ruined. And it's not. <laughs> so, I was kind of liking that green. So I'm going to start with this. I want to see, I was, yeah, I like it with the turquoise. Because that's what I was thinking. Maybe that green with the turquoise. I think a lot about colors. Um, when I have my palette there, I think about where I place my colors and what colors, what, you know, what, which ones would go together really nice. And I don't know. I love color. So I hope it's not too noisy for you guys. Cause I have all my windows open. It's finally like summer weather here. You see those two? They're really great together. That turquoise and that muted green. Oh, me like. I want more of that. I just want to make a few marks in it, so I'm just getting some tools out while it's still wet. All right, I'm going to come in with, this is a wet brush, and I'm just going to try and calm down some of the ends, like the... I like it to be sharp on one side and then maybe not so sharp on the other. And that's just for contrast. Yeah, I know, Emily, <laughs> but it's supposed to come to an end soon, so I don't know if I'm that happy anyhow. <laughs> uh, I just hope it lasts for a while. Um, I'm going to come in with some of this green. I have the green there. I, it's just that if I use the pastel, I can see uh, what it looks like. So I'm going to come in with some of it and see if I like it. And yeah, I like it a lot against the green, not so much against the turquoise. So maybe I might just come in with some around here. And like I said, I have paint too, and I'll probably come in with paint. It's just that it's easier to see with the charcoal. And I don't like it, what I did down here, so I'm just going to cover it up. All right, I'm going to give this a quick dry because I want to come in with like bold strokes over it. And I can't do that as long as the paint is wet. So 
Fingers in ears, guys. <laughs> Shall I give that green a try then? Let's see if I can find another brush. And I think I want to lighten it up a bit, maybe. Just a tiny bit. It's not that bad with the turquoise anyhow. I didn't think it was, I, you know, because I didn't like that, but then I want the green at the top too, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just go with what's what, whatever. I mean, this is what happens to me all the time. I think one thing and then I do something else. All right, we're going to put in some of that orange, too. And I'm going to make like a peachy value. Not really, really light, but yeah, well, maybe a bit lighter. Anyhow. So now I'm just going to go nuts. So I have a whole bunch of light values and then that one dark value, but that <coughs> I could come in with uh, an even darker value of that, or I could come in, I don't know if I want that red in there. If I, I think maybe I'll use it, but I think I'm just going to use a dark value. Because that would like come out like really like deep. All right, let's see what we can do with it. Where do I want it? Yeah, I like that mark. down here. Maybe I need more of it. Oh, you're all quiet on me again. You're not falling asleep, I hope. <laughs> all right, I'm going to come in with more of it at the bottom. And I'm going to give it a quick dry again. Oh, thanks, Melanie. Angela, thank you. 
That's good, Annie. I'm glad you're not sleeping. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had me worried there. All right, I'm gonna bring some some of that charcoal back because I like this uh, ladder or whatever it was I made. And I wanna keep it. I'm just gonna come back in with the charcoal. Uh, yeah, maybe not so much that, but. This is kind of a composition of sorts. It's, uh, you have something called, like a lot of the letters are compositions. So this would be maybe an H. Yeah, I could call it that. So try and Google that guys, cause there's a lot of um, compositions that are like, whatever, I don't know what to call them, pre-made or whatever, that are like, I don't know. I don't know what to call them there, but try and look up uh, composition, letters as composition or whatever, and see if you can find something. Um, so I have this funny thing now. I used to use this uh, thing a lot. I just tried to change the rubber bands underneath there cause they were all, <laughs> it's been so long since I used it. They were all like, uh, hard and I don't know. I put new ones on there. So what this is, is just a regular clothes brush that you can buy. Like it's the kind that you can peel. Um, all right, Linda, I'll see you later then. All right. Um, yeah, it's, it's just like a, a clothes, clothes brush, the kind, well, you know, you can buy them in like clothes stores and you just peel off the thing and it has like uh, glue on it and you can use it on your clothes. But you can also use it in paint when you put rubber bands on them. And they make kinds of cool marks. So I have this whole uh, box of stuff that is stuff that I made to make marks with. And that's such a great way, guys, to make marks that nobody else makes. So get creative with it. Ah, uh, thanks, Melanie. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I got a lot of paint there. Sometimes you have to help it a bit. <laughs> It's not easy to get it covered. So what we're gonna do is use it over here and maybe a bit over here. And it's just to get like some different marks in there that, I don't know, just to kind of uh, switch things up a bit. All right, so we need some darker values. I need maybe, um, some more black and then we could make a darker value of that uh, turquoise and of the green but let's try the turquoise first That almost turns into that, I feel, but it's not. <laughs> it's just when I was blending it, it looked, I was like, oh, isn't that kind of close? But it's not. So we're going to just try and put a bit of it here, close to what we already have. And I'm liking working with a palette knife because it's giving me a lot of texture. But I'm going to come in with the, uh, I'm going to come in with the brush later. Hi, Conan. Hi, Paday. All right, let's try and come in with some of the darker colors up here too. Nah, I don't like that. All 
And I found out that it's so nice to work uh, when I film because then I can see what I'm doing on the screen <laughs> and it tricks my brain a bit. Yeah, right, Mika? That is so cool. I love making like stuff that I can make marks with. Um, I don't use them too much on my canvas. I'm just trying to pull out this thing. Look at that. <laughs> A bunch of crazy stuff but um, I don't use them too much on canvas but I love using them on paper all right let's put some white in there too yeah I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on here that I'm liking. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick dry again. A lot of noise today. So I'm going to do uh, something that I haven't done in like, uh, I don't know, a long time. Um, I'm going to put gesso down and then I have um, Distress inks. I don't know if you guys uh, have used these. But I used them a lot when I used to do uh, mixed media art journaling and I always used to love to combine these with gesso. So that's what I'm going to do now and I probably put too much down but that's all right. We'll make it work maybe down here somewhere. Oh and it turns into the, the turquoise actually. I thought it might turn out a bit different than that, but it didn't. All right, well, that was the sad color. All right, you know what? Then we're going to just take it off because, and I'm going to get another color because I don't want it to be the same color. So I'm just going to pull it right off. And I'm going to pull another one. All right, I don't know which one to go for. I have ice spruce and squeezed lemon. I think the squeezed lemon is going to be too much like the green yellow we have there. So let's try this. It's like, um, this is like a, a bluish color. I'll try and put two in there and make it a bit darker. And get a clean brush. Because this is like a gr grayish, bluish. And that's like, the, oh my God, look at what I'm doing. Pulling out almost the same colors that I already have. Look at that. Ah, all right. One more try then. Put some of it up here anyhow. That's annoying. Ah, what others do we have? All right. Tatered rose. Let's give that a try. <laughs> That's probably going to be a lot like that now. Watch. But we don't have that value, so it'll be all right. Now it's like the orange. More like the orange. Yay! You see ships in the dock? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Emily, maybe I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Is COVID over? <laughs> 
I see them too. Well, that's weird. All right, now we have a color that I haven't used. It's kind of a light one. Well, anyhow, the fun thing about doing that is that you can uh, blend them and they come out like transparent because of the gesso. And that pigment is uh, water-based. So you can get some fun combinations when you use them. I like them anyhow. I used to use them all the time. Not so much anymore though. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not, I don't do, I don't buy the same colors that much, but I tend to uh, use them a lot, the same colors. And then I wind up having to go and uh, do a second layer with new colors instead because I keep making the same thing. I just did that on a canvas that I, I tried to do something to today. If you head over to in Instagram, you can see it. And I was like, oh my God, I already painted this painting. <laughs> I can't do that again. And it was totally the colors that were uh, making everything uh, look like something I made before. All right, let's see. I think I need some more of that turquoise down here somewhere. And I want to come in with the orange. Um, uh, how do I do that? All right, I'm just going to use that brush that I had with some of that turquoise on it. Oh, I like that. I really like that texture. Do you guys do that? Sometimes I just fall in love with like parts of my painting. Um, Liquitex is definitely my favorite. Yeah, yeah I use that the most, but uh, I, I use others too, cause this is like very thin. Uh, and if I want to like create some kind of other effect, I'll uh, I'll use other kinds of gesso. Um, I don't know. I think I have Amsterdam. I have uh, Golden. I'm not sure. And I use black gesso as well. All right, let's get some of that orange in here. Give it a little pop somewhere. And maybe with the gray, that turns into that neat green. So when I uh, have like, uh, I call them sad colors. When I have sad colors like this, I try to put them next to the happy colors. Cause they complement each other. And I need this one more place, maybe even a lighter version of it. All right. 
And you know what's coming now, right? So I need to uh, calm down some of it. Yeah, Tana, excuse me, wait a minute. I'm just gonna go get him. Um, I have a few of them. I have, uh, all right guys, I had a question in from uh, somebody from Denmark. Tana is from Denmark and uh, she's asking me if uh, I've used system three and she wants to know if they're good. And yes, I've used them, and I think they're about the same quality as uh, Amsterdam, student quality. And yeah, I like them. They're good. And I'm thinking, I have all these colors in here. Should I bring in some purple? Hmm. Um, you could, uh, the, the one I use is not expensive. This is like the basic Liquitex. They come in different um, qualities. And I think this is actually the cheaper one. So don't go ordering like, or you did order already. Well, I hope you did <laughs> order this one. <laughs> All right. I was thinking maybe I should bring some purple in here. I don't know, maybe not much, just like bits of it somewhere here and there. I don't know. Nah, maybe I shouldn't do any more of it. Yeah, that's good enough, I guess. Of course, we don't, I don't want to, I don't really like it. <laughs> so... All right, let's just push it back. It wasn't my fave actually. Um, and I think, bring down some more of that gesso and I'm gonna use that red. Cause I wanna, I wanna, uh, break up that pink square that I have there and I figured I could do that with a little with a deeper color of some kind uh, not working the way I wanted it to so Try working it in, see if it looks better. It's a um, better combo than I had before, but still kind of not what I was wanting. So I'll see if I can, yeah, all right, it's not that bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna come in. I want some white. And I'm just gonna come in and make some white lines with a paintbrush. And like. I'm 
I like that they're almost the same shape. Almost. Oh, I can't speak Danish. I only speak Norwegian, Emily. <laughs> I just understand. Um, I just understand Danish. I don't know. What do you want to know? Tell me what you want to know and I'll say it. <laughs> Your husband needs to know how to order beer in every language. All right. Um, so if you're at a restaurant, you can say, I'll have a beer. And what happened to my screen? Oh, no. Uh oh, guys. I'm hoping you're still here. Oh. Needly, <laughs> uh, my screen just went black on me. I was like, oh my God, what happened? Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Mika. I like the white lines too. I think they did uh, something to the page anyhow. Um, let's see what you were saying. Ah, oh, great, Linda. I'm glad you're home. Uh, all right. Um, can I have an oil? So, can I? I'll, I'll write it down. Wait. Oops. All right. You go. Can I? Oops. For an oil. And the A with the, the little uh, circle on top is an OR. So you, it would be like in English if you say like OR, like <laughs> OR. <laughs> that's how you say, that's how you pronounce it. So I'm quite liking the way this is turning out. I don't, I don't even know if I want to do so much more to it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we'll just leave it like it is. <laughs> You're welcome, Emily. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> oh, gosh. You need to come to Norway and I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Even though they're expensive here, I'll tell you that. Beer is not cheap in Norway. Um... Yeah, all right. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I do something else to it? Um, I can't make up my mind. I quite, I'm liking, like, a lot of it. I like this part. I like this, the stuff that's going on here. But I think it's a little busy. I could probably maybe calm it down a bit. But then I like the blue the way it is. Um, maybe I could just come in with, uh, I don't know, calm it down at the top there. Thank you, Shirley. So you think I should do anything else to it, guys? I'm not sure. Maybe bring back some of that charcoal. I'm gonna have to spray this now, of course. Hey guys, wait, what if we uh, put some oil pastels in there? Would that be good? If I have any, I have one. The fresh guy in the middle top, what, up here? Like here? I like that, because it's the texture I like. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Same color as I already have, so. Again, not the best choice. Um, you know what? I think I want to do something up here, if I'm going to do something. That's a goo, Angela. <laughs> go 
Google Translate, guys. That's the best. So I'm answering like all my uh, French friends on YouTube. I answer them. I use Google, <laughs> Google Translate is the best. I'm telling you. All right. You know, I'm going to come up with some of that. Bring in some of the blue. But uh, I'm like, I'm not sure because I have the turquoise there. It might be too much. Um, oh gosh, how am I going to do, what am I going to do? Can I try the orange and come in with, uh, I think that kind of, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think, Melanie. <laughs> Small dots of the red somewhere. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Ingrid. Ingrid was at my class this weekend, and uh, she did <laughs> real good. So I'm going to take her advice. Thank you, Ingrid. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find a small brush. And I think I'm going to come in maybe with... Uh, pure red and maybe somewhere over here maybe not sure i like this texture so i don't want to ruin that ah uh, thanks Ingrid. <laughs> thanks annie so do i melanie yes i love that too um all right so where are we gonna put this down here i think that's a good place because then that would be in contrast to that like light pink and i'll do a bunch of them maybe even more And you know, I can always push them back if I don't like them, right? I kind of like them. Thanks, Angela. You think? Should I leave them or should I push them back a bit? Maybe we'll dry them and then we can see. Yeah, I think they're good. I kind of like them. And now we have all the colors in here. So I guess it turns into a landscape too, guys. Sort of, anyhow. <laughs> so I could always like uh, come in with some writing. But I think there's so much going on in this painting that I don't need to actually do anymore. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Yeah, all right, well, I'm going to call it a night, and I'm going to go sit down and relax and hope that this vac vaccine lets me be for a while. Aw, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you so much, Carol. That's sweet of you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I always have fun with you guys. Even today when I was like, oh, I don't know if I can paint. <laughs> I still want to paint with you. No, I'll be all right, Emily. It's just, uh, it's just a day or two and it'll be fine. So I'm so glad that you took your t time out of your busy day to come paint with me. Oh, you're so welcome, Yeka. You too, Shirley. Looking forward to seeing you ne next week. Oh, thanks, Emily. That's so sweet. Thank you. 
Mel. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> I will. You're so welcome, Annie. Aw, oh, thanks, Ingrid. Aw, oh, Angela. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, so cool. All right, I'll see you guys next week then. Take care. Bye-bye. If I can get the mouse to work, I'll be streaming until next year, I think. All right, bye guys.